Hello, this is DOI Reptiles, and today, or more like November 13th, 2020, I'm going to be continuing on what I did in the last video. So in the last video, I brought in the plants, the, the, the water surface plants inside from the pond, and then I collected a bunch of leaves from the pond, and then I went on to sanitize a bunch of leaves, and I said that that would be today's video. So currently it is February 19th, 2021, but this was all filmed in November 13th, 2020. So we're going to send you back there, and for context, I just got done getting the leaves out of the pond, and now I'm heading to the back of the house where I have a bunch of other leaves that I plan to sanitize. I'll take you back here, because here I have a lot of leaves that I think... I'm gonna take the time to sanitize today. So, a lot of them are in here. There's just an absolute ton of leaves in this water, and you can see the water is completely black because there's so many leaves in here. And then there's a lot of leaves just collecting in this area that I'll go ahead and grab. And then I have this backpack that's filled with leaves because it's just an old backpack, like a real old backpack. And I took it out and I collected these in the local forest. And then I have this, there's just a branch covered in leaves. So basically, I need to boil all this stuff. So I'm probably gonna, I have like a, a pot. I'm probably just gonna come out here and fill up a pot with leaves and stuff. Now this, I hope it doesn't have any fish in with it, but this is a mat of algae. So I think I'm gonna do is, hmm. I think I'm just going to throw this out in the yard. I was going to put it in here just to kind of like let it grow or whatever. But it's not, well, yeah, it's algae. So it's just a whole lot of string algae. And there was some more. Like here's some. That's just some, uh, as you can see, somehow I got duckweed in here. So it's kind of been growing for the little while. But it's too cold to have turtle, turtles out in here. But, you know, duckweed will always find a way. So I think the rest of this I can kind of work with. Like this is a bundle of algae as well. So I'll throw that out. And that's what a lot of the leaves were kind of sitting on. So here's another one. I want to make sure it's not horn or I don't think. I think I brought all that inside. So now it's just a bunch of algae. So I'll come out here with my thing and I'll completely pack it filled with leaves. And then I'll bring it in and start boiling it. Once it boils for a while, I'll strain it and then just lay it out to dry. And I'll do that just all day today, I think. So... That's kind of the plan, but I wanted to show you getting the leaves out. And then actually I'm going to fill this bucket up with all these leaves. So then I can, you know, not get my hand wet over and over again. So, uh, well, I'll probably have to come back out and get more leaves. But for now, that's what I'm going to do real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and went through everything. Uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. So I have a bunch of botanicals and roots and some charcoal in here to sanitize. And then in here is mainly just the the leaves from here and what that kind of does is it stops them from getting super dry and crinkly and then just like completely being destroyed these ones that did not you know nothing stopped them from doing that and it's actually pretty impressive that my backpack held together because essentially there was just like an ecosystem like a ditch living in <laughs> like the ditch ecosystem was in that backpack for a long time so there's a lot of just essentially pre-dirt going on here like leaf compost and then I had a ton of I put I put into a bag an absolute load of maple helicopters so like from the maple tree like these little helicopters come down and essentially botanicals but I put them in a bag and they all germinated and now it's like a huge ball of roots but like they've been dead for a long time but it didn't smell like rotten. It's somewhere down in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in here. And essentially what I want is like this. Like this is exactly what I want. I just want it without anything from outside. So I'm just gonna boil all of this, which is essentially boiling dirt, and then I'll strain it. And the, the liquid that'll come out will be like darker than this for sure. So that'll be really interesting to see how that turns out. But I have two completely full things. Uh, like they're really packed down and I also got uh, my pear we have like an ornamental pear tree and I got a ton of leaves from that and those look like this 
and just different things. So I'm pretty excited. I wish I had more botanicals, but unfortunately this seems to be it. I think there's some in here, around here and stuff. So I'll kind of find them as I dump, dump the stuff out to let it dry and everything. But this will for sure be pretty interesting. And I'm so excited to have leaves in my iguanas tank again, because that's really, that's one of the things this is for. It's also for everything else, because I'm completely out of leaves. So it's going to be really fun to be able to put leaves back to my terrariums. Okay, so I have gotten one bucket done. And I got it done in about two things of this. So I packed it in real well. And here it is down here, right in here it has, this is the last one. So I let it drain and everything. I let it, the water drain out. So now there's just the leaves I'm sitting here letting them cool off a little bit. They're still steaming. And then over here is the last, the, the first group of leaves. And they already sat until I had to looking to see if there's dead insects because it makes sense for there to be and I, I'm just I'd like to find some anyway these these are cool now and I'm letting them dry off I think I'm just going to add these directly into the iguana's cage these things were hit, heated up to about 100 and something degrees close to 200 degrees some of them probably more you know the ones on the bottom of the pot so they're nice and not there's no insects on these guys they're, the insects would have been dead so they are all safe to add in to terrariums and, and such so I might just add in a couple of these just straight into the iguana's cage and to just cover up the bottom it'll look so much better in there I'm positive of it so and then I have some other tanks that I want to add these into which I'll probably do right away just because it's gonna be really hard to dry them off and stuff. And the less I have to store, the better. So I wouldn't wanna dry them all off and then just throw them into our terrarium anyway. So that wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. So that is kind of what's happening. And I'm slowly clearing off the counters. I had to do some dishes and whatnot, putting dishes away. So I can put leaves like here now and then I already cleaned off over here to put them. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be adding leaves into the iguana's cage, and as you can see in here, it's it's pretty disappointing, and actually I want to show you guys something real quick. There is, this is a pretty cool beetle right here. So this is from a, a super worm. It's a real big worm, and these guys will generally release a pretty nasty smell onto you. But I forgot that I put them in here. So I have, a, I think I have a couple of those. At least I see them pretty often. And that is some form of mold. That's pretty interesting. So anyway, no, it's not. No, it's not. I think that is urate, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of, I have no idea. But anyway, that's normal. The isopods will clean it up. You know, no big deal. So here we have the enclosure. It's kind of boring looking down. This is kind of his food dish or her food dish. And we have tons of isopods everywhere, probably too many. But here, I'm gonna kind of move things around. So this is something that I actually kind of want to take out. So I'm gonna set that over here and let the isopods kind of get off of it. Cause I want to use that in a different enclosure pretty soon. But here, I want to dig this down and put it here. So there's a lot of things mixed into the soil, as you can see, I'm just digging up like all different types of stuff. And there's lots of different pieces of wood chip. There's a piece of slate, different things in the soil here. And I'm gonna kind of dig it up because I want to put this. So there's, there's cool stuff, but all the leaves are gone because the isopods have eaten them all. And I'm gonna put this, this piece right in here for whatever reason, I don't know. This is just kind of where it's gone for a while, but I kind of moved it and it got dug up. So this kind of separates these two areas. So then food doesn't, I don't know. I'm gonna redo this whole bottom, like all of down here and really change it up because uh, there's a lot of things wrong with it besides just the fact that it has a lack of leaves right now, which really kind of make it look bad. So as you can see, there's some white stuff here. You might be wondering what that is. That's actually calcium. So <laughs> again, you might be like, what? So when my calcium kind of goes bad, 
like in the containers that I keep it in for like I, I keep it in peanut butter jars up here before I for when I put roaches into it to feed to the animals and when that when I'm kind of like hmm yeah I don't I think this is probably gone bad a little bit then I just mix it into here because there's all these isopods and I would think that they might break it down or eat it or whatever and you know it, I don't think it's too bad to add into soil or anything so it doesn't hurt anything to put it in here so I'm just gonna have it here and that's that's it so this is here I'm gonna I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna put this rock I think I'll put it over here so we'll kind of actually I'm gonna set it here so basically this dirt looks really boring because it's dirt and dirt doesn't exactly look very nice in general because in nature you don't really see dirt you see leaves and you see botanicals that are on top of dirt so why we have some botanical looking pieces and whatnot all around here everywhere we do not have proper leaves with them so now I have a bunch of really composted leaves that I'm about to throw in here I'm gonna kind of bury this a bit Looks a little bit more natural. So, as you can see, there's a ton of different things in here, but it just doesn't look very good because of a lack of botanicals and leaves. So, let me get the botanicals and leaves. So, this is just straight after boiling them. I'm pretty po I'm like I'm positive all the everything that I don't want is is gone, right? Uh it's a little bit nerve-wracking for me cuz it, it essentially just came from outside, but they were boiled and I found a lot of insects that are now no longer living. So it, it was definitely effective boiling them. But here, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump all these in. And like I said, these are real composted. I think it'll look awesome in this enclosure. So kind of Charlie's looking down at me like, what are you doing? So hopefully Charlie won't try to eat any of these cause she, she hasn't had a ton of leaves in her her enclosure in a while but I have a feeling that this is just gonna like fix her enclosure I think it'll look way better because oh man this is gonna be great because there's like worms in here and there's isopods and then they'll get all up in this and it'll just be fantastic so I'm gonna there's a lot of leaves here I'm gonna get them to get in everywhere and then those beetles and the worms and everything will just love this and they'll get all up in this. And once this dries out, it'll look a little bit, it'll probably look better even, but I'll, you know, continually spray and everything like you would with a green iguana. But I think that that just looks way better and it'll just be a way more interesting and everything. So that's really cool. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my crushed gecko enclosures because they've kind of been with a lack of leaves lately, which is pretty annoying. So just in general, that looks a whole lot more natural. And I think that'll be pretty good. Makes me wanna plant the tree again, but I've just been getting these things to grow real well. Look at that. It's nice new growth on top, both, both parts there. And then same with this one, both parts have nice new growth. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with those. Actually, I do know. I'm gonna put them in crust gecko enclosures. Not that one, that one's too tall, but the other one I'll be able to put in a crust gecko enclosure. So that is kind of the plan there. But I think that that looks really cool. And what's really cool is you have these like large type botanicals like that and rocks and stuff that you can see through it. And I think that that looks a lot better. I need to give her new water. So I'll work on that, but there, it looks good, but I'm just, I'm ready to redo it because I know I can do better, a lot better and give her cooler pieces of wood. Cause I, I, this is kind of sporadic. It doesn't make a lot of sense, especially with the size of her. She needs bigger pieces of wood. This one, I don't plan on having this in here and I'll probably end up taking a lot of like all of these out even this and stuff and just getting bigger pieces of wood probably more like this that are all just throughout and then I don't know we'll see we'll see what I do I'm not sure but I might try to build something in here to make it like a waterfall or something I'm not sure so don't not 
I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I plan on doing something.